The IPAX Virtual Auscultation Simulator not only allows you to perform chest auscultation on the screen, but also places an audio player in the commentary section, enabling you to compare and listen to different sounds. Additionally, the illustrations help make understanding easier. We will begin by introducing an example of aortic valve stenosis from heart sounds. When you press the play button on the audio player, the sound plays immediately. By listening to the sound while viewing the phonocardiogram, you can visually confirm the timing of the heart murmur, making it easier to understand the relationship between the cardiac cycle and the murmur. The audio file presented here alternates between normal heart sounds and the sounds of aortic valve stenosis. First, you will hear the first and second heart sounds, followed by the stepwise addition of heart murmurs, making it easier to compare the timing between normal heart sounds and systolic murmurs. After listening to the audio file, it is recommended to perform auscultation on the chest illustration displayed on the screen and find out where you can hear the same sound, identifying the point of maximum intensity. Next, let's move on to lung sounds. In the lung sound cases, we have included schematic images of breath sounds. This is useful for confirming the differences in how inspiratory and expiratory sounds are heard. Additionally, to demonstrate that there are differences in sounds even with the same named adventitious sounds, depending on the individual and the pathology, we have included several audio files. A button is placed on the right side of the body illustration to display the auscultation sites. Pressing this button will show the auscultated areas on the screen. With the color becoming darker, the longer the auscultation time. This is helpful for checking whether the correct and necessary areas were auscultated. In the lung sound cases, a series of audio files for adventitious sounds is included at the bottom of the chest illustration. Please use these when confirming the characteristics of the sounds.